The objective is to explain the connection of the area model of division to the long division algorithm for three and four digit dividends. Here we have 214 divided by 2. Let's start by drawing a rectangle with an area of 214 square inches with that width of 2 inches. So there's the width. Here's 214. And then so what we're trying to figure out is there. Is there a way that we can partition this using the area model where it's an easier problem to solve? Well, yeah. What we could do is we can look at 200 instead of 214 where that width still is 2. At that point, how would we work this out here? Well, let's see, it's 2 times something equaling 2 hundredths. So that there is 100. Now, what do we have left? Well, this is 200, this is 214. So what we have left is 14. And in that case, 2 times what is 14? 2 times 7 is 14. Now, what have we done here then? We took 214... And if we decompose 214, we broke it apart into 200 and then also 14. So we have decomposed that number into 200 with 14. So if we look at the division there, we have 200 divided by, right, 2 plus 14 divided by 2. And if we follow through to evaluate that, 200 divided by 2 is 100. 14 divided by 2 is 7, and 100 plus 7 is 107. So 214 divided by 2 is 107. Let's look at another problem. We have 1,568 divided by 7. Let's start with that area model. We're looking at 1,568, and the width would be 7 here. And we're trying to figure this out. Hmm. Well, in this case, what problem can we think of? Well, we can't divide over those thousands, but we can look at the 1,500s. And when we look at the 1,500s, let's... What would we be dividing by 7? Well, the easy... We could count by 7 times hundreds, or 7 hundreds. So we could take out 700, but if we took out two 700s, two 700s is worth 1,400. So let's take a look at that. How do we get this then? Well, that's 1,400 divided by 7, which is 200. So 200 is part of our answer. Now, what are we left with? Well, let's see. It looks like 1,400 to 1,568. We are left with um, 168. Oh, look. Instead of 1,400, could we start looking at those tens? How many tens could we look at? Well, let's see. 20. So 20, two tens, was worth 20. So 20 times 7 is 140. So now we're at 1,400 plus 140, which is 1,540, leaving us with 28. So we have broken this down and this problem down further, where it is that we'll end up having 200 plus 20 plus 4 as our answer, or 224. Let's continue to look at this problem here to see what we did. We broke apart 1,568 into its different parts. We first looked at 1,400. And then we took out 140. And then we also had 28. So our written method is 1,400 divided by 7 plus 140 divided by 7 
plus 28 divided by 7. If we evaluate this, we have 4, we have 20, and we have 200, and when we add those together, we get 224. Here's that standard algorithm. 7 goes into 15 two whole times. There's that 200 that we had, because 2 times 7 is 14, and 15 minus 14 is 1. Bringing down the 6, that 16 tens divided by 7 is 2, because 2 times 7 is 14, and 16 minus 14 is 2. And we bring down the 8, where we get a 4 when we divide those ones. So as you can see, this here does match with what we did and how we broke apart this problem for that area model. It's your turn to try. Use an area model to help with this division. We had 1,235. There's more than one way to solve this. Let me show you an approach. 5 can't go into the 1. 5 can go into the 12. 5 goes into that 12 two whole times, and so that's worth 200. Because 200 times 5 is that 1,000. Next, after we did that first step, we have 230 left, or 23 tens, and we're dividing 23 tens by 5, which is 4. And that would be 4 tens, and that's why we write a 40 here. 4 tens, 4 times 5, is 20, and that's 20 tens, which is 200. Or if we looked at 40 times 5, we would also get the 200 leaving us with 35 ones, which would be 7. Let's see if these add up to 1,235, and they do, 1,235. Finishing our last little steps in our standard algorithm, I have that there. Putting in that missing side length, and then so for that question mark, it's 200 plus 40 plus 7, which is 247. I'll show you the written method on the opposite screen. You took 1,235, you broke it apart into 1,000, and this is one way you could have done it, 235. Then you had a written method where you were dividing by 5, 1,000 divided by 5, plus 200 divided by 5, plus 35 divided by 5. And hopefully you evaluated all of that there. And in, in evaluating it, you would get that same answer that you got before of 247. 1,235 divided by 5 does equal 247. If you ran a check, give yourself a pat on the back. If you didn't, it always is a good idea to remember to check your work. Let's look at one last problem. Here we have 916 divided by 4. All right, so we'll start again with that area model. Let's look at those hundreds first. Well, let's see. We have nine hundreds. Let's take out 400 at a time. How many 400s are there within this here? The reason we're taking out 400 is because then we're talking only the 100 there within that quotient. Well, there's at least one. Is there another one? Yeah, there is. So that's two 400s, or 200, as part of our quotient. Here's that standard algorithm. Yeah, there's that 2. 2 times 4 is 8. 
and 9 minus 8 is 1. When we bring down the 1, well, that's what we have left. We have 800, and we still have 916, so we would be looking at 116 more still, but let's look at those tens first, 110. Well, there's at least one 10. 10 times 4 is 40. That's not going to be enough, though. That would only be 11 minus 4. We actually can take out two of them. So let's take those out. 2 times 4 is 8, and 11 minus 8 is 3. Finally, I have 36 ones. And for those 36 ones, 36 divided by 4 is 9. So I have all of those there. 100, 200, 210, 220, 229. And of course, I could take 916 and show how it is that I decompose that number. 400, 400, that's 800, plus 40, that's 840, plus another 40, that's 880, plus 36, which is 916. And as before, I could show that division work, where I was taking 400 divided by 4, which would be 100, 400 divided by 4, which would be 100, 40 divided by 4 equaling that 10, 40 divided by 4 equaling that 10, and 36 divided by 4 equaling that 9, and show how it is that I added those together to get that missing side length to be able to get my answer. Writing our check very quickly there. 6, 3, 8, 11, 1, 1. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9. So I have that 916 there. So there is a connection in between the area model of division to this standard algorithm.